Here, hold this burning candle. Let the wax just drip on your hand. Terrified, singing Silent Night. <laughs> Silent Night. Holy Night. All is calm. All is bright. Calm and bright. What's up with this line? Round young virgin, mother and child. She's a round young virgin. She's round because she's nine months pregnant. Did they really describe the Virgin Mary as round? That sounds seems kind of rude. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Oh, here comes round young Mary. Boy, aren't you round? It's like a bigger part and I'm pregnant. With the Messiah. <laughs> the Messiah. <laughs> Remember that one bit by what's his face? Wouldn't you hate to have been Jesus' uh, brother? Everybody's always comparing it. Why can't you be more like your brother? Because he's the Messiah. <laughs> it's poor James. Yeah, poor James. Jesus' little brother. I was being combined. You know, you're not. Why can't you be more like your brother, James? You got to think about like, you know, there's a lot that's been left out of the Bible, the story of Jesus. Everybody kind of knows about his birth. I mean, that's what Christmas is, is really about. Whole manger scene. But people forget that after that, Joseph and Mary, you know, they had a whole family. Jesus had a little brother named James. He's in the Bible and stuff. James was at the, the whole family was at the wedding. Jesus' first miracle in the Bible was when he turned water into wine. Yeah, huh? It was a party. It was a wedding feast. And back in the days of the Bible grandfathers, weddings would go on for days, man. They were huge drunks. Well, this particular wedding, they drank up all the wedding on the first, all the wine on the first night. Mary comes up to Jesus. It's like, Come here, my boy. I want you to do something for me. You know, I mean, he was he was the Messiah and everything, but Mary was still mom. She'd boss him around. Because <laughs> uh, we're all out of, out of wine. Why don't you go back there and, you know, do do a little magic. We need more wine. Because, oh, come on, mom. I don't think it's time yet. I don't want to show my, my powers. You know, then you'll be in danger. I'll have to have a secret identity. I have to become a superhero. <laughs> she goes, oh, just do it, my boy. I'm your mother. Listen to your mother. So he goes, okay. So he goes in the back room, says a little prayer to the great spirit. Poof. Water into wine. And whole oh, wow, it's like just the best wine people have ever had. It's like, holy man. When the wine's made by a holy man, you say, holy man. <laughs> And it's just getting a party on and everything's great. Well, next weekend, same thing. There's another wedding. Joseph and Mary and James and the whole family get invited. Only this time, Jesus is gone. He's not there this week. What happens? Same thing. They drink up all the wine the first night. And uh, guys are like, hey, James, we're out of wine. Can you, uh, you know... You know, last weekend your your brother he uh kind of saved the day. You think you can uh he can help us out too? He's like, what? No, I can't do that. He goes, come on, your brother did it. He goes, yeah, he's the Messiah. I can't be changing water into wine. I can't do that. I'm James. He goes, oh man. He goes, oh, I'm always being compared. He goes, yeah, you're not as good as your older brother. He knew how to party. <laughs> then you know. On and on. Jesus becomes famous, super popular. People are following him around. He's walking on water. James can barely swim. <laughs> Every time they play a little one-on-one -on -one basketball, Jesus just dominates. You know, he can slam dunk because he can ascend. <laughs> James is all like, quit using your Messiah powers. That's unfair. What's the score? But.
I wish we knew more about Jesus after the uh, Bible, the Bethlehem story, and pre when he comes walking out of nowhere to get baptized by John the Baptist. Yeah, there's a whole lot missing in that Bible. Well, there's a little bit when he's like a teenager, 14 or something. Oh, really? Yeah, remember he walks into town and Joseph and Mary lose him and he's in the temple preaching to the old guys. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I saw a comedian talk about that once. He goes, you ever imagine, a, what was his name, Michael Smith Jr. or something like that? Yeah. Can you imagine the time when Jesus was a boy and he goes into Jerusalem and uh, he gets separated from Mary and Joseph? And people forget that Mary and Joseph, I mean, they were the parents. But, I mean, Joseph was, you know, he's not even the real dad. You know, they're almost like foster parents. <laughs> At least Joseph is. And, uh, you know, so I'm sure that when Jesus went missing, the first thing that they would have done is, is pray. Yeah. And so would that have been kind of like that awkward phone call to the biological father? It's like, yeah, father who art in heaven. <laughs> Remember how you told me to keep an eye on your son? You know, raise him to be a good boy. You got a big, big plans for him or whatever. Yeah, well, we're at we're at the uh, we're at Sunday Market in Jerusalem, and we we can't find them. You think you can help us out? You know. <laughs> but yeah, but then you know they don't talk about you know Jesus's awkward teenage years. <laughs> you know when he's when his feet got real big and he's all skinny and lanky, fourteen year old. Stumbling, awkward with girls. <laughs> they probably got acne, you know. And he was walking around in a human form. I'm sure Jesus was like very handsome. <laughs> yeah, but he was still a, you know, a Jewish boy, and you know would have had the same, same problems. Probably greasy hair. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, Merry Christmas to you.